We are on the Audi stand at the Goodwood Fussler Speed 2019 with what I think is something of an exclusive, we don't say that very often, but the covers have literally just been pulled off this and I'm the first person to sit in it. This is the Audi R8 LMS GT2. Now, GT2 race series is coming in 2020 and it's going to be a sort of for gentleman racers, I suppose. Numerically, it's slightly odd because GT4 is currently the sort of gentleman racers cars and then you've got to GT3, which are much more serious. This sits sort of between the two, so it's numerically out of order, but it's got more power than a GT3 car, but slightly less aero. So it's designed to be relatively easy to drive, but also extremely exciting. And it looks amazing. I mean, it's based off, in fact, an Audi R8 Spider chassis so that it can get the roof line lower and get more uh, into it. Obviously, there's that roof scoop that you can see on top of here, and then the rear wing, which is pretty special. I don't think I've ever seen or I can't recall seeing such beautiful those sort of reverse swan neck uh, stanchions for the rear wing. In here it's amazing how low you sit in this with the full-on race seats and well it's, it's a blend between the road car and the race car it's not completely stripped out as you'd expect in something perhaps like a GT3 car we still got the, the sort of the vent controls and stuff like that for it's still got a key just in there in fact um, but then obviously all the other things for the fuel pumps dimmer rain light pedal box etc in here and a full-on roll cage as well plus another screen up there it's uh, rather beautiful it's brilliant 55 percent of the parts from the road car are actually used in this race car power 640 brake horsepower so you say in a gt3 car with uh, sort of balanced performance and stuff you'd be looking at around about sort of 500 possibly slightly less than that depending how good your aero etc was so yeah this should be a pretty pretty cool thing and of course what's worth remembering about this and why I'm sitting is why we're paying attention to a race car other than the fact it looks great is because the GT2 series is meant to be based off road cars so they haven't announced anything but obviously this is rear wheel drive with a V10 in it um, who knows perhaps there could be a road car coming that would be something like this I'd like to see that I'm sure other people would too still got the plastic paddles in the back of here okay Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. I think this looks great. The tyres alone, with the fluorescence on there, that's pretty cool in itself. And uh, none other than Tom Christensen is going to be driving us up the hill tomorrow, so I suppose I probably ought to get out and let him see if he fits.